It was asked how he was uh, how he was finding it, you know, playing in the league after the embarrassment of uh, Euro 2000. And he said, oh, oh it's, it's all right, really. And uh, the reporter said to him, yeah, but uh, what, what about the, the stick, David? He said, well, she's not really very interested in football. <laughs> Anyway, even as we speak, he is captain of fucking England. All right. Hey, what a man to have in charge of the fucking offside trap. Ow. <laughs> They're better off with fucking Duncan Norvell, wasn't they? <laughs> So listen, we, we're getting the feel now. We, we, we're trying to make contact with people who fucking hate Manchester United all over the world. Should we just try a little bit, just just before we uh, before we get into the main thing? Uh, are you two United fans? Well, that's lovely to to come along and show that there's no hard feelings. Uh, Ernest, they're fucking sat here. <laughs> now, can can we can we just try a bit of? A bit of live action for, for what, this is what we call wild shots in the game, this. Can we just try a little bit and try it? Shh, I normally do this on my fucking own, if it's all right, do. Oh, it's not the only thing I normally do on my own. Anyway. Now, without knocking any equipment over or putting anybody's eye out, can we just try a little bit of, we're hoping to have the, the, the music here, but we can't lay our hands on it at the moment. Can we have a little bit of... Stand up if you hate Man U. Would that be all right? You know, you know, you know. Would it? Thank you very much, sir. We're being in touch. Anyway. Yeah. I lost 32 pints during that. Now, now just, just one, one final word, because the entertainment is about to uh, commence in earnest in just a second. Now, just to show that this isn't... Just to show that this isn't an evening which is merely pandering to people's baser instincts, we are going to introduce a little bit of a cultural note just in case anyone forms the wrong impression, nationally and internationally, of Manchester City fans, just to show that we have got a little bit of breeding and decency. Not Fabian Barthez, you are, yeah? <laughs> How do they get away playing Donald fucking Pleasance in goal? <laughs> huh? I know he does. He puts the fucking ball where he knows it is, and he goes like that, doesn't he? Seen that film, haven't you? Now, no, now for the, the informative and educational part of the evening, to give you a brief lecture on the current state of convergence required for European Monetary Union from the University of Chorlton on Medlock. Will you please welcome the lovely Gaylor?
I stand up and you hate man yet. Now, I know what the ladies are thinking, but I'm sorry, it's out of the question. No, no. No, because I've not been on my sunbed this week. The, uh, the tube's broken. And uh, in any case, on, uh, on Friday, I'm in the final of the Arsene Wenger Lookalike contest. I want to keep myself in, in trim for that. Now, we've already shown you, we're going to scale the heights of comedy this evening. I was introduced as the biggest blue there is. That's, well, I do my best, but I think we all agree that there's one blue who's bigger than anybody else. The biggest blue you could hope to meet. Will you please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Bernard Money! We've been friends for years, many, many years, James Reeves and I. Queer as knees, friends. <laughs> Hiya, James. Um, Lovely to see you. Are you still fucking up burning bake up? Oh. <laughs> it's your own business, James. I won't tell anybody. Look at this stroppy cunt on the first row. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> You make a good tramp if you smarten your fucking self up a bit. <laughs> Blue moon, you saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart, without a love of my soul. We're going to fucking stop them on Saturday, you know that, don't it? It's been done before, and it, it, it can be done again. It can be done again. In the George Best days, you remember him, George? Uh, when I launched a ship with him the other week at Newcastle, he wouldn't let go of the fucking bottle. <laughs> nice lad, though. He went in the pub, he said, three pints of Guinness. Week after fucking week, three pints of Guinness. The lad says, how do you know only all the fucking one pint at a time? He said, oh, my two brothers, he said. My two relations, he said, we always went over or in threes, he said. One week he come in and said, two pints of Guinness. He said, have you lost one of your... He said, no, I've stopped fucking drinking, he said. <laughs> I was seeing Pavarotti last week. What a miserable cunt. He doesn't like you joining in, does he? <laughs> England's getting beat one none. Some fucking captain that better, isn't he? Hey. One number getting beat, the Italians. Their flag should be a white cross on a white background. <laughs> I knew a fella during the war earned a fucking fortune putting reverse lights on their tanks. 